It's about 8 a.m. in sunny Puerto Rico. Beautiful beach. And today I made a decision to start making YouTube videos and putting them out there for people to watch. And hopefully learn something or share information uh, the way people have been sharing with me all this time, right? We live in a world where everybody's posting and putting videos up and I've taken full advantage of it and, I, and I've benefited from it. So it's, I said, you know what? It's time for me to do the same. My name is Cesar Espejo and I want to just talk about options and real estate and a bunch of other things that may come to mind. So it's my first video. I say, you know what, for 2020, I'm gonna start doing this. I'm gonna, post, I'm gonna try to post a video every week and build up a library of videos on options trading and all the different things that we could learn from it and how it's affected my life and changed it for the better. And I think it can help other people also. A little background on me, I started, I started in real estate, really. Graduated from college and then bought some real estate four multi-families and then I just kept buying and rolling and buying rinse and repeat and, you know I built a nice little portfolio that brings in a lot you know nice decent amount of cash but I've always been interested in stocks and of course I started with stocks doing it the wrong way penny stocks day trading uh mutual funds buying options buying options which is different than selling options and selling options is where I think everybody should be and once you learn how to do that, I think you'll, you'll have a money-making machine for the rest of your life. And the reason I decided to start doing this is because I have a four-year-old son and I'm like, man, if, if somebody were to tell me what I know today as a child, or, or I had a dad that maybe did what, what I'm doing now and was able to teach me, that'd be awesome. So, I, you know, it's like a legacy. It's like, you, you, know, you want to set a legacy for your child, your, your people that come after you kids so I'm like you know what if I make videos they'll always be out there and you can always look at them and say hey, my dad did this and maybe I should learn how to do it and I'm gonna teach him but videos sometimes speak louder than words so I started in real estate made some you know make some decent money have a portfolio that generates cash and I finally said you know what I'm gonna buckle down and start learning this option stuff because this I kind of figured this is where the money's at so I got a coach I got some training I got some of the best trainers and coaches out there and I learned and I studied and I learned and I practiced and nobody knows everything. I'm not saying I'm an expert, but I'm good enough where I'm bringing in 25, 30% easy on my money. Not easy because everything is hard. Nothing that you're doing in life is ever going to be easy. And once you understand that, you realize that some things are worth doing and some aren't. That's just my opinion. So here I am. Uh, I've been trading options now for four, five years already. And I did everything else the wrong way as far as options and stocks. And what I realized is that we're in a time right now where your phone is as powerful as any computer. And you could do this from anywhere. And the accessibility is easier. The access to information is easier. The platforms are better. There's really no excuse for anybody not to know how to trade options. And once you learn how to trade options, sell premium, you'll realize that you could do this and always make money for the rest of your life. It's a technique, it's a skill that will always be with you. And I wanna be able to share that with folks, at least what I've learned, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that know more than me, but I'm gonna keep it real with you. You don't need to know as much as people make it sound like you need to know. You're gonna hear about deltas and Greeks and gamma and theta, all the Greeks are on options and what it sells and the IV rank and there's a lot to it but it doesn't have to be that difficult. It could be nice and simple. It could be, hey, you know what? Large companies that you know aren't going bankrupt. As you can see, let's give an example, like Boeing. Boeing Airlines right now has a 737 max problem. The stock has gone down from a high of, let's say 440 to maybe 320. They got planes, literally, I mean, you know, had accidents and that's, you know, tragedy, uh, but the stock barely moved. Why? Because they're a duopoly. Pretty much Airbus, Boeing run the world. Is Boeing going to be around tomorrow? I think so. So that's a good stock to sell premium on when things, when people think it's going to go bankrupt, which is not. Or they think, or they think the price is going to go down to zero, which is not. So these are the type of companies you want to target. Amazon, JP Morgan Chase, uh, MasterCard. Everybody's using their credit cards. They get a piece of everything. Square, all these different companies that are innovating in the, in the financial space. 
Uh, obviously, Amazon, Big Dog, Google. You know, still doing Google searches. YouTube, owned by Google. You know, all these different things that are out there. We need to start taking advantage of this stuff. And everybody out there, normal folks. Man, I grew up in New Jersey. I'm a Jersey guy, by the way, for everybody out there. I'm from Jersey. I'm on vacation in Puerto Rico with family. And, you know, I said, you know what, 2020, I'm going to start sharing this stuff and put videos out there. And hopefully people listen. And if they don't, hey, you know what? I, people are going to be all right anyway. But there should be no excuse for anybody to be like, well, I don't have any money. I need to make more money. What am I going to do to make more money? The world is literally at the palm of our hands right now. And the platforms are there, the access is there. What we can do right now in the options market, you could not do, could not do, zero. You were not able to do it, I would say five, seven years ago. It was cost prohibitive. It would cost you too much to get into a trade, to get out of a trade. It was difficult to navigate the platforms on your mobile phone, but those mobile platforms have gotten better and they're only gonna get better. You know, I personally use TD Ameritrade and I use Tastyworks. So I use two platforms for two different accounts, a smaller account and larger account. And, you know, I have certain rules that I, once I start making more videos, I'm gonna get into, into specific rules that I have to trade and, and how you protect yourself from getting into any issues. Whether it be, you know, large drawdowns, keeping a certain amount of cash on hand always. And, and, and I'm doing this because I've had situations where I had a large drawdown and luckily I was able to finagle because I had other winning positions and I sold them. But these are the, the trials and tribulations that everybody's gonna go through. But if you could listen to my video and maybe learn something from it and say, you know what this guy said online, he said, hey, you know, keep a good 40% cash always, no matter what. Because what happens is, and this is the, the basics of why options is the way to go. And I'm gonna just give one example. And I kept reading books and I kept hearing online, hey, you know what? Options are, are dangerous. 80% of all options, 70 to 90% of all options expire worthless. So when you think about that, 70 to 90% of all options expire worthless. Let's think about that for a second. In this world of stocks and trading, it's technically almost a zero sum game. Somebody's losing, somebody's winning. So if 70 to 90% of all options expire worthless, then I shouldn't be buying options. I should be selling options. And like I said, now it's not that difficult. It's not that hard. With a smaller account, you can pretty much make some money. I want to be on the side that's expiring worthless, meaning I want to be on that side that 70 to 90% of the time, you're profitable. And that's actually true. And I, I've been proving it to myself and everybody who's been trading options knows this. It's like a secret that nobody wants to tell anybody. And you go online, you'll see some videos, but everybody's trying to sell you something. And, and I get it, there's, there's a business in selling stuff too and selling information. But sometimes you gotta just take stuff for free. So I wanted to be on that side of the selling stuff. So let's sell some options, let's sell some premium and understand how to do it in a safe way that doesn't jeopardize your account or blow up your account. Because what happens is, and this is from experience, you're winning so much that you get greedy. And greed is a real personal thing that everybody gets. When you start making money 90% of the time, and you put on 10 trades and nine are great, and the one that isn't great, you manage to profit anyway, you, you start thinking, damn, I, well, I could just put more contracts on and I could make more money. And technically you could, but, but the stock market is a fickle, fickle, fickle thing. One day it's up, right now the stock market just wants to go up every day. That's a good thing, could be a bad thing, we don't know. It doesn't matter, because with options you can make money going up, down, sideways. It's just a beautiful thing. And that's how I got into options. I decided, hey, you know what? If people can make money 70 to 90% of the time, I wanna be on that side. And I started selling premium and I started learning. And I, then I got a little bit into the futures market. So the futures is a lot more leveraged, but it's a beautiful market, it's not correlated. So. You could actually trade the stock market, meaning underlines in, in, uh, in options in the S&P 500 usually. But if you wanted to, hey, you're saying it's too rich right now, S&P 500 is kind of high, I want to do something else, you could do un uncorrelated assets in the futures market. And that has become accessible to the point where you can do it trading as easy as you do uh, options. There's options on futures contracts. 
and that's something else to get into in the future. But I said I'd make this video about 10 minutes. It's 10 minutes in. My name is Caesar. I'm thinking of naming this this channel, my 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 blog, uh, Legacy Options. So let's see if that sticks. Let's see if that could work. Legacy Options, Caesar here. If you have any comments, leave them below. And hopefully I'll have more videos so you can subscribe to and maybe catch me once in a while. I'm gonna get back to this beautiful beach here. And Merry Christmas. This is gonna be right now we're on it was December 29th, 2019. New Year's is around the corner. 2020 is coming right around the corner. Everybody should be looking at how to improve their financial situation come 2020. And no more excuses action this is the year of action there's no results if you don't put some foot forward start educating yourself better eating better working out better living life better and making more money you know health wealth and love right we all want love peace